I heard a crack. I heard a crack. Guys. It's oh my going. God. Coming from the floor of the CME Group, I'm Eric Wolfman Wilkinson. Let's get in the zone, the cash money zone. Well, we got some economic data today. Wasn't too bad. Our initial jobless claims comes out basically every Thursday. Showed a little bit better uh, than expected. Jobless, or a little bit lower than expected jobless claims, I'm showing, which means a little bit better on the jobs front. But then the revisions were a little bit up, so it kind of just flatlined that. The market's basically been in a downward pressure for the most part of the morning. Yesterday we saw us, we settled, we, as soon as we broke through that 1398, the market just flushed out. We settled below that mark, which is pretty bearish. But this morning we're starting to see this in the overnight, and right now we're starting to push up against that 1398. That's going to act as resistance now. It is the point of control. Right now, below that number, the bears are in control. Right? If we get down any further, that 1363 is what I've been talking about. I'm looking for that to retrace down there. Technically, if we get down below this uh, 1380s area, that's going to flush down to this 1363 area. If we get below that, it's 1344. We talked about that a long time ago. The same markets are still on the upside, the 1408, if we get above this 1400 area. But for the most part, it looks like the bears are in control of this. The, the bond have really rallied up. They were over, up over a point this morning, starting to show that flight to safety. We got these worries about Spain still derailing from the uh, EU. So those, those are going to push the bonds up. That's going to give that upward pressure if they start having some problems over there on their austerities, right? Take that. Anyway, the bonds, we got the bonds, uh, 138. It's going to be the area of where I think it's going to be going to, 138 to 140, all right? That's going to be those, what are actually 141, it looks a little bit better on the chart. It's kind of, since we flushed down, it's kind of brought that up to an even number. But 1428 to, four, uh, sorry, 140, 28, 141-ish, all right? Take that. Anyway, a little bit busy, but right now we're right here. At the, we just popped above the support area for the corn. It's 656. That's been a real key area right now. If we get up into the 60s, you see the bears come out in full force. But the, pro, the thing I talked about yesterday, down in southern Illinois, these farmers are hoarding to the point where the grain elevators are charging a 60 cent to 70 cent premium over the main contract. That means right now we're trading about 657. They're charging 60 cents on top of that. That we got seven dollar corn. All right, take that. Anyway, moving on. I don't got a whole lot of a little bit frazzled. It's pretty busy over the beans. They're up about 10 cents. Corn's seeing a little bit of pressure. We're starting to see this kind of flip out. But uh, you know, if you can't take that, take it easy.